Okay, hi everyone, happy Friday and welcome to Beginner's Yoga. So it's only half an hour. My name is Nadia, if I don't know you, but I know everyone here. <laughs> but I'm going to pretend. Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Nadia. This is Beginner's Half an Hour Yoga. It's a really gentle pace, but any moves that we do, please don't do them, anything that feels uncomfortable. I will try and show you as many options as I can. You don't need a yoga mat, but if you have a hard floor, you might want to get something that might be a little bit more comfortable to be on, maybe a little blanket or something like that. Um, if you have blocks, these are from Aldi. Um, I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> and these are from Aldi. I got two for five pounds, but you can get them on other sites as well. Um, but you can get a cushion from your sofa. It works exactly the same or a folded blanket. If this is your first time, this is a really nice slow yoga. Um, where we're going to try and get rid of lots of aches and pains. So we're going to start in a cross-legged position. So just before we start, a cross-legged position can be quite uncomfortable for some people, especially if um, you have quite tight hips. So I'm just going to show you before we start that if you have a cushion or a block, you might even want to use two blocks. Hopefully I can fit onto that block. <laughs> but by lifting the hips up higher, it can just make it a little bit more comfortable because your knees can drop out and it doesn't feel as restricted and it helps with your posture. So please use that option if it's more comfortable. Even if your knees are still up, you can raise the height of the cushion or block. Okay, so we're just going to get started. Just going to put the music on. Welcome to everyone. Okay, so just come down into cross-legged position using the block or cushion if you like. So your ankles are going to be opposite each other. And you're just going to get nice and comfortable. Sit up on the sitting bones. Bring the shoulders back. Lift the chest and turn your palms upward. First thing we're going to do is take a big breath in through the nose, expanding the diaphragm and exhale through the nose. And again, inhale, expand through the diaphragm, lift the chest. And exhale through the nose, contract the diaphragm. If it helps, you can count maybe to four or six. Let's try again. Inhale, one, two, three, four. And exhale, one, two, three, four. Let's just take one more breath, just to make sure we're nice and relaxed. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale. All the way through yoga, we're going to use our breath as much as we can to help really relax. Okay, inhale, this time take the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands front center. Sit as upright as you can, shoulders back, and again, inhale. Exhale. Well done, and this time, inhale. Take the right arm up. Exhale, just gently ease over to the side and reach out the waist. 
you've just signed in, if you're quite uncomfortable sitting in a cross-legged position, try having a block under your hips or a cushion or a folded blanket just to raise your hips a little higher and it's a little more comfortable. And exhale. Good. And inhale, reach up out the waist. Exhale. Come over. Try and lift the shoulder back. Lift out the hips. Nice and easy and in your own time. And exhale. Well done. And then just bring your hands to the front. Inhale. And exhale, just slowly walk your hands forward. So if this is all you can move, that is completely fine. Just stay there. But if you want, just come a little further forward. Feel that nice stretch in your hips. And again, if you're very tight in the hips, please don't worry about sitting cross-legged. We're not here for long. Try having something under your hips to lift you higher if it's uncomfortable. Let your head become a little heavier. Maybe you feel a stretch through your back. And inhale. Exhale, just let the body come a little lower. And inhale, just roll up through the spine nice and slow. And we're just going to repeat that across the legs the other way around. Well done, everyone. Sit as upright as you can. Inhale. Exhale, hands through center. Inhale. Left arm up and over, reach out the waist. inhale other side exhale just a little quicker on the side stretches this way and inhale exhale walk the hands forward just to where you can go wherever it feels comfortable shouldn't be painful and take a big inhale expand that diaphragm and exhale let the body drop down Try and relax your mind. This is your time. Just focus on the breath, focus on the movement. That is all. <laughs> and inhale, roll up. Exhale, shoulders down. Well done, everyone. We're going to just move on to a tabletop position. So you're coming onto your knees. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. So again, if this is uncomfortable for you, maybe you feel it a little bit in your knees, you can just have a folded blanket under your knees and um, you don't have to, but just if you feel it digging in and make sure you have a little weight in the hands. So if it feels completely on your knees, you maybe are leaning a little further back. So this time we're just going to really stretch out the back. I'm going to inhale, arch the back, and you're looking up, but be careful you don't strain your neck. And then you're going to exhale, round the back out. Feel that nice stretch through the spine. And take your time, there's no rush. Inhale, arch the back. Let your belly flop. We're not here. <laughs> to hold the belly in today. And then arch that back, round it out. And inhale, arch the back. Exhale, round the back out. And really do big noisy breaths. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the nose. And 
one more time, inhale, arch the back, exhale, we're going to open our knees out, toes together and sit back, arms forward, forehead to the floor if you can, again if you can, that's when your cushion or block or blanket, you can just pop that underneath your head so you're comfortable. Sit your hips back, send your arms forward, and breathe. And inhale, come into all fours again. Exhale, we're just going to take our left leg behind and you're going to just gently ease the heel into the floor so you'll be feeling a stretch through the calf muscle if they're a little bit tight maybe you do a lot of exercise jumping around running ease it down to move it around a little bit, that's okay. And don't forget that breath. Inhale, exhale, bring it back. Inhale, and exhale, other side. Heel down, gently, gently push that heel to the floor. Send it back. it should feel a nice deep stretch without being painful. And then bring it back to all fours. We're going to go into downward facing dog. So just take your time. We're going to tuck the toes under. And then we're going to inhale exhale come into downward facing dog heels don't have to be on the floor you can bend the knees just get into a nice comfortable position if your arms are slipping you might need to just move around a little bit so you want to send your chest towards your feet you want to be breathing <laughs> it's an important bit and then you're just going to pedal the feet a little bit. Don't worry, don't force the heels down. Enjoy that nice stretch and release. Keep breathing. If it's too much, just come back to tabletop and then Come back into downward facing dog when you're ready. And then just hold it here. Inhale, lift both feet off onto the balls of the feet. Exhale, gently ease the heels down. Send the chest towards your feet. Inhale, lift both feet. Exhale. Just one more time, inhale, gently ease the heels down, and when you're ready we're going to walk the feet forward to the hands, again you can bend the feet, they don't have to be straight, you can walk your hands towards your feet, and then just hang forward, bend in the knees if you like, that's okay, let your head drop. Let your arms just drop. Have a little sway side to side. And then just one hand on the opposite elbow, other hand on the opposite elbow, and then just drop your head in. Sway again, side to side. 
real nice. Being kind to our bodies today. And then drop the hands down. Roll up nice and slow. Oh, yeah. And roll the shoulders back. Well done. I hope you're feeling nice and relaxed and warm. We're going to just come to the top of the mat. Um, I'm going to go this way. So come to the top of your mat, if you can. We're going to take our hands to the side. So palms are facing forward. Feet are hip width, bend the knees. Inhale. Exhale, palms together, hands in front of the chest. Just take a little second here. Relax your mind. And then inhale. Exhale, open the arms to the side, bend your knees, come down. If you're here, if you're just at the shins, that's completely fine. Do what you can and bend the knees if you need to. And then we're just going to step back, so one leg back. And then if you need to come onto your knees in between, into all fours, we're going to go into a plank position briefly. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees your chest and your forehead to the floor and then we're going to arch up so inhale baby cobra so we're just looking up exhale come into all fours in between if you need to or come straight into downward facing dog heels down don't forget to breathe and inhale, just step the feet forward. Head in. And inhale, flatten the back, arms to the side. Exhale, hands down through the front. Well done, really good. Hands to the side. Inhale. Let's do that one more time. Exhale, hands into prayer, bend the knees and fold forward, head drops in. Inhale, step back to plank, go into all fours in between if you need to. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees, chest and forehead to the floor. And then inhale, exhale into baby cobra, lifting up. And then inhale, come down, exhale into downward facing dog, heels down. And then inhale and exhale, walk your feet forward, drop your head in. And this time roll up through the spine, head last. Shoulders back and down. Well done. Well done, everyone. Okay, so we're going to go into a triangle pose this time. So come so that you're facing forward. And we're going to take our legs out to the side. Turn the right foot out. Inhale. Exhale. Lean out your waist. And then you're just going to continue forward. So hand on the shin or the ankle and bring that arm in line. If you like, you can look up to the hand, but please don't do that if you have any neck issues. Open the chest. If you want, you can come up higher if it feels too intense. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale, come back up, bend the knee, and release. Other side, good. Turn the foot out, inhale, lean out the waist, and then exhale, come all the way over, hand to the shin or the ankle, reach up look up to your hand unless 
you have any neck issues. You all look amazing. Well done. come down, feet come forward, and legs are quite wide, I'm going to come up, inhale through the middle, exhale, fold forward into flat back, and just bring your hands, if your hands don't reach, that's when again you can use that cushion, or a block, and just come forward, and feel that nice stretch through the back of the legs, let your body relax. Don't be afraid to relax. Big breaths in, move about through the position. And then inhale, just look up. Try not to strain your neck, you're just coming up a little bit and then exhale, release back down. And inhale, look up. Exhale, release. And inhale, come forward with a flat back if you can. Good. Exhale, bring it down. And shake those legs out a little bit. Well done, everyone. Okay. Come to the top of your mat again. Inhale, exhale into prayer, bend the knees, come down, hands on the floor, and then you're just going to come into tabletop position, and then come onto your side, and roll slowly down through your back, slowly through the vertebrae. And just get nice and comfortable. Feet in. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. And then we're going to come into a bridge position. So inhale. You're going to tuck the tailbone under first. No rush, just take your time. Come up just hold. So again, you don't want to overemphasize that lift. Try not to force it. Relax your shoulders, relax your face, your mind. And then take a big inhale and exhale, come slowly down through the vertebrae. Let's try that one more time. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under, come all the way up. Use the breath. Relax the shoulders. And exhale, come all the way down. Well done, nice and slow. Take your time. And straighten the legs out. Bring your arms behind your head, stretch them away, fingers away, toes away, big, big stretch, and release, and again, big, big stretch, push your feet away, push your fingers away, and release, this time, inhale, going to bring your hands up, so they're opposite the shoulders and you're going to really slowly roll up through the spine. This might be difficult for you so if it is you can use your elbows to help push you up gently or you can bring your feet up and then use your hands to bring yourself up through the 
If not, just take your time to come up to sitting. Adjust the sitting bones. Inhale, exhale, come forward, either holding the shins, the ankles or the toes, and drop your head in. Bend your knees if you need to, and just breathe. feels nice, what is your body ready to do? Breathe in through the nose, exhale, release. And inhale, reach for your feet. just going to bring our right knee in, foot on the floor, and inhale, reach the left arm, and we're going to twist round, so if you can, get your arm to the outside of your leg, that's fine, if not, just gently hold on to the leg and reach round. Try lifting out the waist. Just counter twist to the other side and release good. Other side, you might find one side is a little easier than the other. Stretch the right arm up, come up and over and look over your shoulder. Again, don't strain your neck if it feels uncomfortable and breathe. counter twist and again feet on the floor roll through the back nice and slow down to the floor and we're just going to take happy baby position so if you can hold your feet if not hold your ankles bend the knees and just let the knees and legs just drop out. You should feel comfortable. If it's too much, remember, just hold the ankles. And just have a little rock side to side. Draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a hug. And stretch out the lower back. And release. Bring your legs straight. Let your feet drop out to the side. Take the legs out a little wider arms facing upwards. We're just going to finish with a short Shavasana. So this is pure relaxation. So let your mind completely switch off. Let your body become heavy. Feel it sinking into the floor. muscles, shoulders, chest, stomach, your legs, your feet, and let them all just become heavier and 
and here we are. If you would like to stay in Shavasana a little longer, I'll keep the music on for you. If not, just move your fingers, move your toes, gently come onto your side, have a little rest before you come up. slowly come up to a seated position whenever you're ready. Namaste. I really hope you all enjoyed today's class and it gave you some time to yourself to relax a little bit and stretch out any tired muscles. Any questions, please pop it in the chat. Thank you so much for joining me. And any feedback is great. Thank you so much.